today, you will battle it out on skin in a flash tattoo face-off. Flash tattoos are pre-made art hung on the walls of tattoo shops. It's flash. It's made to be quick. That's why it's called flash. It's done in a flash. You will be divided into two rounds of six and have 90 minutes to tattoo a flash design drawn by Oliver and Chris. The first round, six tattoo artists will tattoo a lotus flower. In the second round, six artists will tattoo a skull with a top hat. People have to tattoo the exact same design. And that way, as judges, we can compare apples to apples. We've all cut our teeth on flash. This is where you learn to tattoo. Damn, look at you, Steve, just moving right along. If you can't even nail a basic flash tattoo, you shouldn't be here. I'm a little nervous about getting it done. An hour and a half is pretty fast to be knocking out an oriental lotus with full color, but I feel like I'll surprise them today. I think we're gonna be okay. Go ahead and win this damn thing. My strategy for this lotus flower is to color the out of it. How the can you color if you do it all the time? 30 minutes in. How'd you learn how to do water, Kay? I haven't, actually. I don't feel like I have enough time to do the water the way it's supposed to be done. I think I'm just gonna wind up just scratching some in there. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's it. Machines down, no more ink. All right, guys, skull and top hat. You have 90 minutes and your time begins now. It's toe to toe. They're doing the exact same thing right next to each other. That's a real competition. A majority of the shops that I've worked at are street shops. People come in, pick flash, and you slap it on them. So I'm pretty much in my element today. It's like asking a monkey to climb a tree. I'm gonna bring the magic in. Every opportunity I've ever had in my career to do color, I do it. I have a lot more fun with it. If there's any time that I need to win a flash challenge, it's now. Color is my thing. I love color. Everybody here is going to be able to do a kick-ass job. My job is just to do it a little bit better. 15 minutes left. Remember what they said, how your colors blend. If you make that top hat solid black, Nick. He's a magician. It's got to look black, punk. I'm just doing it my way. Nick thinks he knows everything. And he's just a young, stupid idiot. Five, four, three. Two, one, that's it, time's up, no more ink. Tattoo baby. I like it, I like the way, you know, you blended the green on the lily. It really makes the flower stand out well. Steve. You put dark blue instead of soft, light blue, splashy water. I just figured color challenge, throw some color in. Kills it, how dark that blue is. Jamie. The whole tattoo is light, but as far as the color saturation goes, I don't feel like the blend is as smooth as it could be. Clint. The water does kind of look like it clumps up in areas. The water is dark. I think it kind of helps. The you know what happens orange. when you do the water like that? There's zero depth. Yeah, it's just the rush, man. K Cutter. I like what you did with the water. I feel like the blue could have been blended a little smoother. Turn into a rust job at the end. At least you didn't overpower that, putting too much dark underneath it. He colored his waves more correct than mine. Oh, so now it's about how well you color Waves? I thought it was about how well you just color in general. Trey. You took a different approach at coloring the flower. You know how to put black shading into a tattoo to make color pop, and that comes through on this. Definitely a much better tattoo out of you. Thank you. All of a sudden, you do a good tattoo, and you're awesome. I mean, you should be doing good tattoos right off the rip. That's ludicrous. Nick. Although I've never seen a green skull, you made it work. The one critique I have is I just, I don't like the dice. Kind of like a geometric boxy look. You try to get fancy and make those dice see through, which throws it off. Sebastian? If you're gonna go with that strong of a yellow highlight on the top of the hat, should have had a lot stronger highlight on those dice. We wanna be able to see more color than more black. Mark? I know it's a color challenge, but I don't think you need it to go wall to wall. You actually pack so much purple into one little area. A little skin break on it would have made it pop so that the hat didn't look so done and the skull looked so undone. Lalo? I'm not too high on just so many different colors. The background green leaves a hard edge instead of letting it be soft. I always look for my backgrounds to have a geometric shape so it's solid. But it makes too harsh of a square shape around it. Sarah. The color that's in there is solid. The dice are really smooth. The transition's nice. The banner's really clean. I love the black in the hat. I love that you didn't do a bunch of color in there. 
Jesse. The only complaint I have is that you use the same color in the face you did in a banner. You miss the mark because they're so similar in such a small area. Rounds one and two are complete. The judges have decided that the winner of the first round is Trey. The judges have decided that the winner of round two is Sarah. Trey and Sarah, the two of you will face off in the final round. You will be tattooing a gypsy girl. This gypsy head is a very commonly done tattoo, and because these guys had such hiccups doing an American traditional eagle and flag, we figured we'd throw them a little more traditional. You're going down. That'll be fun. I'm winning this. You better be able to back that shit up. You're writing a pretty large check there. You don't want that mother to bounce. We are upping the pressure. You will now only have 60 minutes to complete your tattoo. Let's get ready to face off. Do you have 60 minutes to do your tattoos? And your time begins now. This is a real competition. Best against the best. Once I pick up that tattoo machine, the competition's getting shut down. Oliver's gonna love that This is a traditional gypsy head, something I'm really good at. I've been doing this 20 years. She wasn't even around when this stuff came out. 30 minutes remain. Is that the only flesh tone you're gonna use? I don't know, it depends on the time. You got 25, so I think you got the time. All right. Why the f are Jesse and Mark helping Trey and no one's helping me? What the f What do you think, Mark? It might be more of an issue of who's gonna finish. It's very comforting. You're on top of the world one minute, putting your finger in a guy's face. Looks like the karmic scales are biting Sarah in her ass. 15 minutes left. Get it, Sarah, come on. I'm working on it. I feel completely out of my element, off my game. The f Come on, get it together. It's really frustrating. Two minutes. That's a wrap. Look at this guy. Whoa. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up. No more ink. I don't even know what to think right now. I did the best that I could in the time that I was given. I'm really hating myself right now. Sarah. The color is all pretty light. It's not enough contrast. His I ran out of skin, time. look at his color and look at the face. The guy's one Santana away from not having any shading in the face. Trey. I'm not a huge fan of the pink. It felt traditional, so I went traditional. With the black stars, I think it made it look a little better. This color stands out. When it heals, it's gonna look real nice. In this flash challenge, we tested you on color. Sarah and Trey, it's down to the two of you. The judges have come to a decision. And the winner is Trey. Not only did I beat Sarah, I beat her at something she thinks she's the best at. And that feels unbelievable. All right, guys, this week we're testing your proportion skills. Proportion is when all the elements of the composition work together and are balanced in size. If you don't have correct proportion in a tattoo, it's just gonna look like shit. In order to test your proportion, you'll be sketching one of the most iconic symbols in the art world, the praying hands. Oh no, this sucks. I haven't done that in a long, long time. Hands are one of the hardest subjects to master proportionally. I've struggled with praying hands since I started tattooing. That is the number one tattoo that I just have never been able to do. But I am not looking forward to any of this. You'll have 45 minutes to draw the praying hands. Your time starts now. Drawing hands is one of the most difficult things. It's a weakness that a lot of artists have. They have to get the proportions right or the hands look unlifelike. I can't decide which angle I want to draw this from, so I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because I'm drawing from two different angles at one time. So I'm seeing one thing and I'm drawing another. I just need to get this whole church thing out of my head. I don't know what the f the problem is. As soon as I pick up the pencil, things start going haywire and it's not coming out the way I want. For the American traditional, I got a hard critique on the way my hand was, so I'm gonna try to really show them that I can't illustrate a hand right. Hands are very tricky. Proportion is everything. Fingers have to be the right length. The width of the hand has to be right. There's so many different complex things. If just one little element is off, the hand looks horrible. 
pencils suck. I'm sweating. I'm so uncomfortable in here. I'm stressed out as it is with it. I notice Leah's stressing hard over it. She doesn't even have any shading or anything in her drawing. This is definitely a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. I don't want to find myself in the hot seat again. One more minute. All right, that's it. Time's up. Pencils down. Thank God this is just a sketching challenge. We're not putting anything on bodies today. You guys all happy with your sketches? Yep. I'm not feeling confident about winning this challenge. I caught a glance over at Tommy's. He just has a lot more dark shading in there, so it gives it some depth. The flash challenge hasn't ended yet. Inside your shop, you'll find a randomly selected canvas. And your job is to tattoo your sketch on the canvas. Holy sh This day is just awful. I don't have the shading on my hands. What am I gonna do? Now I have to tattoo those hands. You have 90 minutes to do this tattoo. I'm psyched. I get to redeem myself, redeem my drawing, because I can make up the shading in my head in the tattoo. Good luck, and head to your shop. I know what the elements need to be in the hands, like nice veins in the back side of the hands. I'm feeling pretty damn good about this part of the challenge. I turned the drawing into a nice tattoo, and I'm not sure that the other competitors are going to do that. Just like a photograph, that's beautiful. Yeah. I got to tattoo the hands I drew. I really wish I would get the shading down, because now I'm not going to have the veins and all the cool little details in those hands. 30 seconds. Time's up. No more tattooing. Leah, let's take a look at this. You did all the back of the hands and everything just from memory? Yeah, I had no shading in my you drawing. Dry. You actually used the tendons in the back of the hand opposed to using like the veins. It's like a non-traditional take on praying hands. I knew it. What is missing in my hands is the veins because I didn't have the shading in place. Another flash challenge that I'm not going to get. Tommy? It looks almost identical to the statue. Tremendous detail, fingernails. I mean, even the grooves and the knuckles. Tommy's sketch looked much better than his actual tattoo. The tattoo looks dark, irritated. It looks like it's not going to heal smooth. James? It looks like you got a little more detail in your tattoo than you did in your drawing. I was able to refine a little bit. I like that you were not scared to do dark. That's got a lot of black. You went in and you put the dark where the dark should be. What's happening, Josh? How detailed was your sketch? Pretty detailed. I tried to simplify it more on here than this actual sketch was. Definitely has a different style. How he uh, just shaded on the outsides of it and on the bottom and around it. I like the use of heavy black and the background gives it that dimension. You know that's an original drawing that Josh did this morning. Excellent. I love it. The proportions on Josh's hands were way off. His hands came out a little cartoony. It was kind of wonky looking. Jane? You chose the right angle. A lot of times people do it two sideways and you can't see both thumbs and the depth in between the fingers. I was kind of worried when I saw you drawing it actually on the sketch pad. And from what I see, the difference, it blows me away. I mean, I like how it's open and the angle of it. You can actually see inside of it. Really good job. I like it. Shane's hands came out way chubbier than the actual sculpture. I'm totally psyched. I, I think I have a chance now. So for this challenge, we tested your proportion skills by tattooing one of the most iconic images in the world, the praying hands. We saw some that we really liked, and we saw some that could use some work. And Leah, you got the grooves for the middle knuckles, but then you had nothing in the next digit. I wanted to see the veins. To me, praying hands without veins are a little too new school. Josh, you kind of lost it on the proportion of the hands. I think the length of the hand from the knuckle to the wrist is a little stumpy. You didn't look confident enough to step out of your comfort zone. It's a big deal. There is one artist that stood out. And today, that artist was Tommy. Congratulations, man. Nice job, Tommy. This week, we're testing proportion. Proportion is making sure that the sizes of all the aspects of the tattoo match up. If a head is too big on a body or a hand is off, it's just going to look silly. The more recognizable an image is, the more obvious it is if you screw it up. Today, you must sketch something so famous that everyone in America will know if it's off. The Statue of Liberty. 
using only the statue as your reference, you have 60 minutes to sketch Lady Liberty, making sure the proportions are accurate. Today we're looking for an exact life study. No changes, no adding 100% to the T of what you're looking at. The Statue of Liberty is pretty damn recognizable, so there's no room for error in the sketch. For today's challenge, if it's not in proportion, it's gonna look wrong. If you draw it and the hand's the wrong size, or the arm's too short, or the face is too fat, all those little imperfections are gonna show. It's time to call her by his bluff and see who can draw straight to paper. In the last challenge, me and Sausage were in the bottom, so now I know I really need to nail it, and that skull pick would be a huge advantage to me. It was here when I started. Yeah. It's here now, so I'm just trying to keep the main proportions in mind. Drawing is something I know I excel at. I'm gonna nail Scott. I was accused of not being able to draw in this competition. I have suspicions that Scott has been tracing all of I use references in doing tattoos like this. It's smart, maybe you should try it. Bitch. I've been drawing my whole life. I'm gonna squash that today and show these guys that I can draw. The boat's moving, and the statue is constantly turning. Is there a bathroom anywhere? The rocking of the boat starts sending me into cold sweats. I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm getting seasick at the absolute worst possible time. 30 minutes left, everybody. How about this? You just come over here and draw mine for me, and then I'll, I'll finish yours. <laughs> no deal. This is top five. I'm definitely swimming with the big fish. Everyone left here is really, really strong, and it's pretty terrifying. Come on, Scott. You know you wanna. When I see that all the other artists are doing a full-size Statue of Liberty, I decide to take an approach that's different than everybody else. I'm trying to show the judges proportion in my sketch by making sure that the eyes are the right size compared to the nose, compared to the mouth, and the head with the hand. If you're not drawing the whole Statue of Liberty, you should be disqualified. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it, time is up, pencils down. My drawing is unmistakably better than the rest of the artists in this challenge. I want to win it, and I'm going to win it. How are you guys feeling? You feeling confident? Well, I certainly hope so, because this challenge is not over. Oh, As difficult as the statue is to draw, it's even more difficult to tattoo. You must tattoo the Statue of Liberty onto a human canvas using only your drawing as reference. We'll just kind of shrink her down, so that way there she can have a really nice face. I'm a perfectionist, and I don't feel that my sketch is good enough for a tattoo. I'm screwed. I've already shown proportion with my drawing. All I need to do is tattoo it exactly like the stencil. Final hour. One more hour. Scott only used six spikes. If he doesn't put that seventh spike in there, that could cost Scott his win. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down. Time is up, no more ink. Yeah, not, not, not too bad. The attention to detail you put into the crown, the torch, the hand is great. Judging proportion, I would have liked to have seen some way to really put into perspective how massive this iconic figure is. The way you ended the tattoo is your biggest fault because you cut that shoulder off a little too quick, kind of has a slant on the bottom and it gives me the impression that she's leaning. But tattoo quality on this, very nice. Thank you. Sausage did one breast, an arm, and a head. I'm sick of seeing the judges compliment him on his skill of tattooing when his designs suck. Melissa. So I think you did a pretty good job doing a sketch overall. The size of the tattoo, I personally think it's great. You didn't go overboard. The main issue we want to see is the right portion of the size, and it looks like you have a nice layout. You've had some issues with black and gray in the past. This is a great outing for you. It's a lot softer and a lot nicer work. Thank you. Maddie. Proportionally, I feel like it's right. I like how dark you went with the shadows and how drastically you shaded the folds and the creases to give it a more vivid, more strong look. It's a standout tattoo. Halo. It's a very stylistic representation. The city behind it is a definite plus. It adds to the depth of this image, but I feel like it could have been a little lighter to push what you have in the foreground farther in the front. The facial expression stands out to me. It's a really great job catching that stark face. Beautiful tattoo. 
Scott. This is a really nice drawing that you did. You definitely have the artistic skill to make it look this nice. The proportion in this tattoo really does show how big she is. The cityscape really brings the statue forward and brings it to life. The problem with the tattoo is it's missing one spike in the crown. It has six instead of seven. Getting the wrong number of spikes on there, the details are not the same, but adding the base on there makes for a great tattoo. I'm really surprised that the judges didn't have more negative things to say about Scott's piece. He literally made the Statue of Liberty look obese. Bravo, Scott. Today you had to tattoo one of the most famous landmarks in the world, the Statue of Liberty. The judges have decided that the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Halo. Good job. This week, we're testing your technical application. Technical application is all the fundamentals that you're taught during a tattoo apprenticeship. The lining, the shading, everything. For today's Flash Challenge, you must tattoo a football super fan. Each canvas wants the ultimate symbol of their love for the game, a realistic football. You must show impeccable technical application by using dimension, shading, detail, texture, all of the things that make the football iconic and instantly recognizable. This is a crazy challenge. You've got to get every single little bit of stitching in there. This thing has got texture to it. I'm a traditional tattooer, so to do a tattoo of a realistic football is definitely taking me outside of my comfort zone. Oh, Chicago. This is Detroit area. We're far enough now that everybody's good. That's pretty much how it works in our profession, too. Always looking to find that edge. I've been on top the entire way until last week. I had a rough one. So I got to get right back up on top and get myself up for the win. We'll go orange stripe, brown stripe, white stripe. I'm going to use a foreshortened view of the football so you can see the laces and the dimension of it. I'm going to put some Cleveland brown colors in the stripes, and I'm just going to tattoo it realistic. Are we ready? Game time. Kick off. And the crowd. Chris and I are clearly the top team here. And we go in full color, right? Yeah. Color is my jam. I want to win this. I didn't come this far for nothing. It's right there. All I have to do is grab it. Best team, best tattoo over here. Let's <laughs> see. Bing, bang, boom. 90 minutes left. 90 minutes remaining, guys. Anyone else has your signature tattooed on them? Nah, <laughs> you are the first. Hanging out with Tony Jefferson, having him watch me do this tattoo is definitely a little bit of added pressure, but I'm not worried at all. My canvas wants to get a black and gray tattoo. I'm super stoked on this because I don't have to pull out any of these crazy colors. I can just do a nice soft version of this football and be done with it. Super Bowl of tattooing right here. Yeah. Y'all in the playoffs right now. 18 and down to six? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's been a long ride. We're down to the last six. Everyone's a tough competitor. I've really got to fight from here. Every football has lettering on it, and I'm going to include that in this design. Whenever they talk about the Jags, people go, Duval. Duval's the county in Florida where the Jacksonville Jaguars are located. This could give me a huge advantage in critique. Just making sure everything is, like, super tight. 30 minutes remaining. I definitely picked my canvas because she seemed like she had such a big personality, but I'm realizing I'm having some issues with her skin. That's the bad part. I hate the shading. My canvas's skin is starting to get really irritated and red. I'm having trouble getting this color to go in solid. I am screwed. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Oh, that's dope. I like it. That looks great, man. I know that my football has an advantage over every one of these other tattoos. I'm definitely going to win this flash challenge. Chris and Tyler are going down. Artists, it is time to critique your work. First up is Chris, and their player is Keith Pugh. How's it feel getting tattooed with this man standing right here? This was the best day, the best day ever. Have you had your signature tattooed before? Like no, so? this is my first time. Making so dreams come true. This is still a dream come true. <laughs> Chris, being able to get that much texture throughout this with very little black, very sweet technical application. The only part of the piece for me that's a little weird is the back white line. I feel like it just gets really, really thin in the view. Chris's football just looks stumpy and squatty. Chris is no competition for me at all. Cruzman, their player is Tony Jefferson. Big deal for you to be standing next to this gentleman? Oh, it's huge. That's, I'm trying not to like freak out too much. <laughs> Tony, what are your thoughts here? Uh, I like it. I think my signature tops all the rest of theirs, so. 
I think it's a great choice to go black and gray based on the memorabilia standpoint. We all know that over time, some of the colors fade away. Black and gray is gonna remain. And the placement of the signature sits nicely underneath. Looks great. Duffy and her player was Darius Slay. It looks very slick and it comes out very clear. Technical application has a softer touch, photorealistic kind of feel to it. I like the light source on it. I love the way that the angle of the ball is placed. It looks like a nice collector's item. Congratulations. Matt and Alan Robinson. This tattoo came out very strong. The signature is very different. The word on the football emulating the brand name of the football, but being Duval County is really cool. Technically, very smooth. Seeing that Duval look like a logo on the football makes me kick myself. Why didn't I think of that? Tyler and David, their player is Kasim. I gotta say, this ball has the perfect shape. It's equidistant on both sides. Stripes line up perfectly. The stitching lines up perfectly. I think you did a great job, man. Nice. Craig and Aaron, and their player is Cameron. The problems I have with this tattoo are the huge area of black. Definitely gives it a cover-up feel. The shape of the ball is warped due to the contour of his leg. He definitely lost the symmetrical shape of the ball. Craig does his own thing. Keeps doing weird ass colors and it's gonna bite him in the ass. Today, you had to show perfect technical application by tattooing football super fans. Some of you fumbled. Chris. Your back stripe didn't match the front stripe and it gave the football definitely in the back a flattened look. The view is foreshortened, therefore the back stripe would appear smaller. That back stripe was the one part that let you down. Craig. Everybody in the room definitely saw the fact that that ball was a little deflated. I liked the tattoo. I thought it looked pretty cool. Did you not see the one side of the ball with a different shape than the other side of the ball? It's an angle that you can't see the back of the ball, so no. Everybody that looks at it feels like it had the incorrect shape. I'm just saying, I, I just don't see it, so I'm, I'm not going to agree with you on that. I just can't. Your shape was definitely off. Some of you really tackled this challenge. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Tyler. Sweet. Come here. I'm so pissed right now, I could scream. I needed this, and now we're just gonna see Chris's skull picks one more time. Tyler, the actual football itself was the closest shape to a football in the room. Thank you. 